Welcome everyone, Tina here. And in this video, I'm walking you through the all-in-one chat feature. The all-in-one chat feature allows you to select different communication channels, such as SMS, WhatsApp, email, or even the live chat to select from so that your user on the other end who visits your funnel or your websites and wants to get in touch with you can then also select which channel they would like to use to reach out to you and ask certain questions. It's not just amazing for the user to be able to choose the communication channels, but it's also amazing for you as the business owner, because you only need to manage one chat. Let me show you how you can set this up. Now, first of all, let's click on sites on the left and select chat widgets at the top. Let's create a new one by clicking the plus new button. And here you can see all the different type of chats showing up. Right now, let's select all in one chat right here. Again, as I just mentioned, it is possible to connect your WhatsApp live chat, email and SMS into this particular chat widget. Let's hit select. And here we are on the right hand side. You can already see how the chat widget would look like on your website if you have different chat functionalities enabled. Here on the left hand side, you can see chat type. The live chat is enabled, the email and SMS chat is enabled, as well as the WhatsApp chat, which you can also see then here on the right hand side. These are the different options the user on the other end, the potential customer can select to contact you. So if you click into the drop down menu here, you can also just simply deselect those options. If you just wanted to have email and SMS and the live chat and maybe not WhatsApp, for example, then you see here on the right, the WhatsApp icon has disappeared. Let's add it back for now because I want to just show you all the options. Then next up on the left here, you can see the all in one initial message, choose a chat option to get started, which is this one up here, obviously. And then you can just go ahead and modify that. So let's add your favorite, choose your favorite chat option to get started. Then under styles, you can edit the style of the actual chat widget, the chat icon, the theme, the welcome message. What would you like to say if people are returning? Enable the custom greetings for returning customers. Okay, so the second box here is welcome back, Tina. How can we help you today? So the bot would actually understand, hey, this visitor has been here before. And this message would then be for new visitors. Under the theme, you can either select a different color theme or you just add your own colors, maybe your brand colors for consistent branding throughout the entire funnel. For now, let's just stick with green, for example. And here at the very bottom, you see widget customization. You can replace your avatar image, choosing your own image, for example. You can decide where the widget should be positioned inside of your website or funnel. Okay, so you can choose different corners or even mid page. And let's keep it bottom right for now. And then you can also put custom widget dimensions if you wish to. Next up, you can also edit the chat window. You can change the title and intro. Hey, have a question. You can change it to how can I help you, for example, you see it changed here on the right hand side. You can edit the intro message here. Currently it says enter your question below and a representative will get right back to you. Next up is the contact form option. So these are the data points the customer or the potential customer has to leave before they start to chat with you. So in this case, we selected name and phone, but you can also select email, for example, and add a message. So you can already prepare and know what the customer is going to ask, for example. And then you can also, of course, edit the call to action button text right here. Next up, the live chat assigned. Here you can decide if you want to enable the contact form. I would not recommend you to enable this if you're using Conversation AI. If there is a little information icon here, that also will remind you on that again, because that defeats the purpose, right? If you wanted to have that live chat interaction, then you don't want them to fill out a form and tell them, hey, we'll get back to you later. Next up is the live chat welcome message, of course, editable as well. Here you can select a timeout delay user inactivity after five minutes, two minutes, 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Then should those five minutes in this case be over, the bot will show a message looks like nobody is available right now, for example. Next up, we have the WhatsApp settings. Of course, you want to make sure that you have subscribed to the WhatsApp first and got yourself a number in order for this to work. You can click on settings bottom left, but then click on WhatsApp and follow the process in order to get a number from there. If you have several numbers, you can click the drop down menu here and select from different numbers. Next up is the live chat closed. When do you want it to close after five minutes in activity time? Then also let the user know, of course. Then you can set business and official hours if you wanted to and more additional options for better branding. You can say powered by your company. You can place the URL, which also will help you with getting more backlinks for SEO purposes. Then definitely have a consent checkbox enabled. And then of course you can also edit this little message right here. Next up is the messaging at the top, live chat acknowledgement. 
Once the live chat has ended, you can say so. If you're looking for feedback, you can ask for it. Once somebody submits the feedback, you can thank them for your time. And once the chat has ended, you can invite them to start a new chat. Then you can also change the acknowledgement icon here or upload your own image. You can change the placeholder color to your own brand colors. And the email and WhatsApp acknowledgement, same thing. You can add a customer support contact, an acknowledgement message and a thank you message. Then for the down and the languages, you select the language of your choice. Now, last but not least, let's rename the chat widget and let's hit save top right corner. Let's activate it for a particular funnel. Let's go to sites, select a funnel at the top, select a funnel in question. Once we are in the funnel, let's click on settings. Let's scroll down and let's look out for the chat widget option. Click the drop down menu and select the all in one chat, which we just created. Let's scroll down, hit save. Now let's go to that particular funnel and let's test this chat function. Here you can see on the right hand side, the chat bubble will show up with our particular invitation message with the little image that we've added with the colors that we've chosen. Let's open it and here you can see our three options, chat via SMS or email, chat via live chat and chat via WhatsApp. Let's select WhatsApp in this case. And here, remember, this form only shows up because we are asking the prospect to leave their data before they're able to chat with us. Let's hit send. And here you see WhatsApp opening up. Let's open WhatsApp. Then here you can see the pre-crafted message need help. Just click on send. And then that particular message will show up under the conversations tab in your messages right here. And then from here, you can send a message back and keep chatting with your prospect. The same thing, of course, happens when the prospect sends an SMS or an email or even the live chat that will all show up under the conversation tab right here. Now, on the other side, the person who contacted you will also get the thank you message. Hey, one of our representatives will contact you shortly. Now, last but not least, if you wanted to embed this chat widget onto a WordPress site or onto another page, which is not inside this particular CRM, then you just click on get it for WordPress or click on get code. Then you can copy this code by clicking the copy button right here and add the code in the body or the footer section of your website. Now, do you need a specific permission to set this up? Typically, any user who has access to sites can access the chat widget and can set it up from there. In case you're not seeing this, please reach out to your admin and they will be able to turn this on for you. All right, I hope you like this all-in-one chat widget and I will see you in the next video.